If you like what I make today, be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment on the video below because each week I'll be giving away what I make. Check the description below for full details on the giveaway. And thanks so much for watching. This one's for all you coffee lovers out there, or in my case, a hot cup of tea. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Java cup for your home. Here's a list of everything you'll need. The first thing we're going to do is draw out our 15 inch circle. I chose to use half inch vaulted birch plywood since it absorbs stain really nicely. You can use whatever wood you have available. To make my perfect circle, I used a wood strip I found and drilled two small holes on either end, seven and a half inches apart, which is half the diameter of the circle. You can replace the wood strip with cardboard or use string to make yours. Now we're going to cut out our circle using a jigsaw. Using clamps and a sturdy table will make a world of difference during this part. If you have access to a scroll saw, you could also choose to use it to cut out your circle. Now we're going to perfect it by sanding the edges. I'm using a disc sander for this part, but you can use a palm sander or just regular sandpaper. Next we're going to stain our piece. I chose to use dark walnut by Minwax, but you can use whatever paint or stain that would best suit your space and taste. When you remove the excess stain, be sure to use an old rag and wipe in the same direction as the grain of the wood for a perfect finish. After I designed and cut out my cup, I traced it onto a scrap piece of half inch birch ply. I hope you'll use this opportunity to get creative with your design and make it your own. But if you want to keep it simple, you can download and print my design by following the link in the description. I used a scroll saw to cut out my design, but if you don't have access to one, you can also use a jigsaw. done, give your edges a quick sand using 80 to 150 grit paper. And don't forget to smile! Now we're ready to paint. I'm using Simply White by Benjamin Moore, but I encourage you to use whatever color best suits your space. Make sure you paint in the same direction as the grain of the wood and do two coats if needed. You can also use a foam roller for a smoother finish. Now for the fun part, when you get to see all your hard work come together. Before you glue, make sure that your surfaces are fully dry, otherwise the glue will not be as effective. Arrange your pieces onto the circle to be exactly where you want them. One piece at a time, add a moderate amount of wood glue to the back surface of each piece and put it in place. When you've got it in the right spot, press down firmly. Be sure to clean up any excess glue before it dries. Last but not least, add a sawtooth picture hanger and then voila, you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel proud of what you've made and inspired to create again. Hope to see you all soon. XOX, Heidi.